Josie Altidore's once thought of as the best and most valuable striker for the U.S. men's national team, so it was no surprise that a striker of his potential would move on to the Premier League. Well, that move didn't seem to work out the way Josie wanted it to. But why? Well, I'm Drew, and I'll let you guys know some reasons as to why I think Altidore flopped in England. But first, as always, if you guys love soccer and want to see it grow here in America, then hit that subscribe button and be part of the change. Altidore was taken 17th overall in the 2006 MLS Super Draft by Metro Stars, who are now considered the New York Red Bulls, where he scored 15 goals in 37 appearances during his time with the Red Bulls, until 2008 when La Liga club Villarreal came knocking for his signature. They most likely saw the potential 19-year-old Josie had and wanted to cash in. During his time at Villarreal, he scored just one goal in nine appearances, and was also loaned out to a few different clubs including Hull City and Berbaspor. Finally, his time at Villarreal was over in 2011 when he joined Everdee's side AZ Akmar at the age of 22. Now this was a club where Altidore really made a name for himself, scoring 39 goals in 67 appearances, he was surely becoming the striker the US desperately needed. He finished his career with AZ Alkmaar winning the Dutch Cup and scoring over 20 goals in both seasons. On July 5th, 2013, Altidore moved to Sunderland for $13 million. This was an exciting move not just for Altidore but for American soccer fans as a whole. It was a big deal to see the US men's national team's main striker try his game in one of the biggest leagues in the world. I, like many other American soccer fans, had really high hopes for Josie to do well in the Premier League, but as it turns out, it just wasn't meant to be. Josie scored his first league goal for Sunderland in December after a long goal drought. He ended his first season with the club with just two goals in 37 appearances, one coming from a cup game and the other one in the league. By October 2014, Altidore stated that he would be leaving Sunderland if his game didn't improve by the January transfer window just to keep his chances of representing the national team alive. And during that 2015 January transfer window, he made the decision to leave Sunderland and join Toronto FC in the MLS. And that's where he currently plays today. So what happened? Why did he fail when he had so much potential and already established himself as a great striker? Well, let me give you some of my reasons as to why I think Josie Outdoor failed at Sunderland. Now before we get into it, just letting you guys know these are my opinions, this is my take and my reasonings as to why I think he didn't make it in the Premier League. And if you guys have different reasons uh, that, to mine, then feel free to leave your comments down below because I would love to know those reasons as well. The first reason I think is the main reason, and if it were fixed, then this video wouldn't even exist. And that reason would be Sunderland's tactics. During Josie's first season at Sunderland, they were going through a manager change after firing Paulo Di Canio and replacing him with Gus Poyet. Poyet used a tactic called inverted wingers for his Sunderland side. This meant the wingers he played out wide would cut inside to create chances and go in on goal. This was a big deal because Altador was an out and out striker who relies on good service from the wings. It was the style of play he was used to using and succeeding with at AZ Alkmaar and for the national team. So with Gus Poyet having these inverted wingers cut inside rather than having them feed balls into Altador's path, Josie was left doing most of the build up and finishing himself. It also doesn't help that Josie was played alone up top when he is better when he's partnered up with another striker or attacking midfielder like he was partnered up with Clint Dempsey for the national team. My second reason as to why I think Josie failed, in my opinion, is that Sunderland was just not a great team to begin with. I was excited for Josie to go to the Premier League, but when I saw the club that bought him, I was a little nervous because Sunderland wasn't the strongest team back then. In fact, they've gotten even worse since then. They were a bottle table team, and in fact, today, they play in League One, which is English soccer's third division. And I don't think Josie Adelor is the type of player who could carry a whole team on his own to success. So expecting him to carry Sunderland's um, bad form on his own was something that should have been never expected. So my last reason I have for you guys is maybe Josie Adelor just wasn't the striker we all thought he could be. Maybe he didn't have the technical ability to keep up with the Premier League, and that's okay, not everyone does. He had everything else going for him though. He had strength, pace, uh, technical awareness, but I think he lacks just that little special ability that would make him a little bit different and separate him from other great strikers around the world. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys on why I think Josie Altador failed in the Premier League. Do you guys agree with my reasons and do you have reasons of your own? You know, be sure to let me know down below. And also, if you guys want me to cover another player who failed or flopped, um, let me know down below as well. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to be subscribed to keep up with more soccer videos coming up soon. And I'll see you guys next time.